returning home, you guys have won six straight. What was the biggest key during this span? Um, you know, I think we did a lot of a lot of things well, um, certainly in this series. But going back since we've come home, um, you know, we've gotten a lot of contributions up and down the lineup from different guys again tonight, um, and, and some really good pitching performances. So, uh, a good way to kick off the homestand, and obviously, um, you know, we got a big series coming now with Tampa. Luke Voigt has looked pretty comfortable hitting in that two hole. What have you thought overall of him offensively to start the season? Yeah, he's been really good. Um, you know, felt like when he came back for for summer camp, I felt like his at bats were were really good each and every day. You know, he's he was walking a ton in in summer camp and in those exhibition games, and I just felt like really from Jump Street, he was in a pretty good place, and um, he's carried that into the into the season now. Avalon came in for Montgomery after the rain delay with a little bit of a, a jam there. Yeah. Were you impressed with the way he was able to, to come in and get the job done there? I really was. You know, I thought he, you know, pitched carefully, obviously, to Chavis there and, and lost him, but then got a big out in Verdugo and then was able to, you know, be pitch efficient. So kind of, you know, take us a few more hitters through Devers there. So that was big. Thanks, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Jake Seiner, go ahead. Uh, Aaron, the last time the Yankees beat the Red Sox 10 straight times, Ted Williams was flying airplanes over Korea. It was 1953. Um, what can you attribute just uh, this kind of run in this rivalry? What does that mean? And um, especially curious, too, just what you think that would be like tonight with fans here to, to see that. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously that's that's unique in, in, in the history of this rivalry. You know, when you bring up that name, obviously that's a long time. But I, I just think it's a stretch where – um, you know, we've had a few really good series uh, against them. Um, you know, they've had some things not go their way necessarily. So um, I don't put a whole lot into it. You know, we we got onward and upward and uh, turn the page and, and get ready for uh, for this next series. George King, you have the next question. And what you excuse me, Aaron? What do you think of Chapman? I, I thought he was really good. Uh, I thought he was really sharp. Um, I thought the stuff was good. Um, pounding the strike zone. You know, really just got ambushed by Peraza there. Tip your cap um, for the extra base hit. But then, you know, uh, kind of dumped that ball down the line to, to ding him for a run. But I was really excited by what I saw um, just as far as his stuff. Um, his ability to spin the breaking ball, the you know life on the fastball, and and really for for the most part pounded the strike zone. So I thought it was a really good first outing for him. After you know only two live uh, sessions last week, um, I was I was really glad to get him out there and 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 get him get him started. Take another from Eric Boland. Aaron, we talked to you so much last year about Frazier's defense. What have you thought of what you've seen from him out there uh, in a small sample size so far? Yeah, I mean, I thought he made a good play tonight. Um, um, I, I feel like he's continued to improve. It's an area of his game that he's worked in extremely hard at. Um, you know, and, and I and I think we we were even seeing that last year. Um, you know, he had some a couple of of mistake plays that got a lot of the attention, but I think it kind of hid some of the good work he was really doing. And there were stretches last year where I thought he was playing really well in the outfield and he's continued to work very hard at that part of his game and we're continuing to see that improvement. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, back to Jake. And uh, Glaber had a couple of tough throws tonight and mm -hmm. had maybe some miscommunications with some other guys last week with LeMayhew and the field. Overall, in your eyes, curious, I think he's doing defensively shortstop right now. I think he's doing well overall. He's had a couple of hiccups game-wise that, you know, kind of have dinged him statistically. Uh, you know, the first play of the game, not an easy play, especially with Pilar getting down the line. It's not hit sharp, so you got to kind of get rid of it, and he just pulled him off the bag. And then I think coming out of the rain delay, you know, I think he was struggling a little bit. Just, you know, one of the challenges when you're playing a little bit on a wet field is – you want to let it go, but you got to kind of governor it a little bit too, and, and that probably got him into some trouble there. 
Back to Meredith. Aaron, Montgomery was just talking about how he was pleased by the fact that he was able to throw his curveball effectively today. If he can continue to do that, how different of a pitcher is he with that pitch throwing it for strength? You know, as good as Monty's been in spring, summer camp, um, and, and to start the season here, you know, and I, I always go back to that exhibition game against the Mets where I, I thought he just threw the ball so well. I thought he might have been better tonight. I mean, it was dictating counts. Pound in the strike zone. The fastball played up in the zone. Um, his changeup was really good, and the curveball was an absolute factor for him. So I thought he was in complete command there. You know, he should have got through the fourth inning there a little bit easier, obviously. Um, but I thought he was really rolling and really pitch efficient. You know, unfortunately, obviously, the weather cut him short. And then what did Aaron Judge wind up doing baseball activity-wise today? He did some stuff in the cage, and, and I know he did kind of a – an active warm up and and you know some light runs and um uh in the outfield um but hit off the tee and soft toss and I think he got the machine a little bit